Hey guys, my name is and welcome to episode one of Vault Hunters. So, oh my gosh, got this thing being all sorts of weird. Ah, oh, hold on, wait. Um, is Walia keybinds? I mean, well, hold on. Uh, sorry, I have to try and figure out. Ew. All right. Well, we'll figure it out. All right. Anyways, so <coughs> I am restarting on Vault Hunters most because um, with the update, a whole bunch of things change. But also, we are now in 1.18... Jesus, uh, if I can find the 1.18.2. And that is really loud. Okay. Uh, there we go. So we're going to put that on hard, and we're going to actually lock it on hard. Um, there we go. And we don't actually have a fast leaf decay. But yeah, with this new... Uh, Okay. Sorry, with uh, this, I'm going to have to take some time to actually sift through and figure out what goes where. Uh, da, 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 da. I'm going to try to show overlay one as soon as we get out of this. But over here in the vaults, if I can get all the way down here. There we go. Um, cool, L. And we'll just go straight down to the vaults again. Okay. Ability cast key. The F. Swap item with offhand can be C. Yeah, because I want um, that. So if I'm correct, yep, there we go. Ooh, wow, this is actually a really nice uh, new UI here. Ooh. Okay, so Minecrafter, wow, they did a lot of work on this, and it looks really good. Ooh, can I be healed through other means? I like that. And there's the mods. Okay. <clears throat> so now then, we're going to have to... Uh... Ooh, so... Sorry, I am really distracted because I'm super excited about uh, the new stuff. I like starting new worlds. Uh, oh, one. Haha! Figured it out. Some of you are probably sitting there going to just press one. It's not that hard. Okay. Oh, and there's no village nearby. I need to find some good uh, spot to live. Because I don't know exactly. Moss block. That'll be helpful later. I'm sure. And apparently, um, one of the updates is actually that type of moss carpet. The vaulter can only show things from the overworld. Now I'm not gonna lie, this is a, uh, it's weird not being able to fly or dash or anything else or even jump without taking damage. Just cause I've gotten so used to the other vault hunters. 
And uh, pardon the lag, it's rendering a whole new area. I don't know what seashells can do. So what, uh, huh, sand castle. Okay. It's kind of cute. Okay. Um. Uh, we got coconuts. All right. Um, I am actually very excited about this brand new world here. And I don't really like that I have the tooltips. Is there a way to get rid of that? Or do I just have to kind of... Guess not. There we go. Ooh, actually, we might be able to find some melons, which will give us something. It's not even noon yet, so we're good to go for a little while. <clears throat> I need to find some sheep. And let's see, this is more moss, isn't it? You know, I really don't know what I want to build because I mean, I liked. Okay, um, like I liked what I was doing last season. Um, I thought it was really cool. Thought it was really fun to uh, ooh melons to build a city out on the ocean. The, my only problem with it was that, um, you know, it was very frustrating trying to get that much of any kind of resource. Oh, God. All right, I got to stand here for a second. And I think this season, what I kind of want to do is I kind of want to find a place Ooh, actually, this is a big old mountain, isn't it? Ooh. Okay, um, let me... Okay, um, sorry, I'm lagging like crazy. So I'm gonna pause this recording really quick. <coughs> Alright, there we go. So, I don't know what went wrong there. I think I was just loading too much too quickly. Oops. All right, so here is the plan, as I was describing. I kind of like this, uh, this big old mountain here. And what I can do is I can go deep underground. Um... So let's actually uh, make a... What is this? Fastest table in the West. Alright. Um, so what I want to try and do is I want to try and make a huge underground city. Kind of like I did with my multiplayer survival series. Um, like Honestly, it feels like that music is still super loud. <clears throat> so we're going to bring that down to like uh, 25%. Alright. So. <clears throat> where would be a good spot? There we go. Oak tree. Coarse dirt. Rooted dirt. I think think a good spot to crack this mountain and put a, I don't know, a something, a door at least, would be right here.
Yeah, so let's actually put it right here. And we can. Ooh, Stone Age. Okay, already I'm seeing a ravine there, which is good. That's copper. We don't need copper right now. It's all granite. Okay. Let's go ahead and make an axe. And let's actually go outside and grab some uh, some coal. Because we're going to need torches for the first night, since I can't find sheep. Ooh, hello. Alright, uh, that's more copper. I need iron. Now, I heard that, um... You know... Actually, this is the first hill we've come across. I kind of want to keep it going because I want to find. I know there's other types of uh, terrain generation, and you know what? Just uh, just because I can. Ooh, 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 sheep. Oh God, the lag. Invincible sheep. Okay. Okay, there we go. There we go. For a second, I thought that uh, my game was going to be broken and I was going to have to pause again. I don't want to apologize for uh, all the lag. It's just, you know, the uh, <clears throat> first episode, and we are exploring. Not oh, baby cow. All right. Um, yeah, when I played this all the time, I used to be way faster. And come on. Do, 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 do. Be great if I could sleep. So here is the plan, I think. I'm going to pause here. And I'll let you guys know if anything interesting goes on. Other than that, I'm going to just grab food and. Um, Look for a place to set down roots. Okay, so I'm about three minutes into the day, and I had to unpause this because I don't think I have... Yeah, I don't have Zoom. But, <clears throat> Panda. Um, you know, just... Panda. Nothing, nothing else. Just just Panda. Not gonna lie, I didn't really get to uh, experience Panda up close and personal, but they are absolutely adorable. Wow. You know, this makes me happy. <clears throat> so, as I was exploring, I've come across this, and I don't know what this is. Um, just to kind of see, I found over here, this is actually blackstone. I thought this was going to be mud, but this is actually blackstone. So I have blackstone, but... I want to know what this is. I'm assuming it's a village. Um, and I see villagers moving around. But it's just really... Uh, it's interesting to me that they've changed up how the villages look. And I don't know why I'm swimming... Like I'm not able to actually swim. Okay. 
And look at this. This is actually really cool. So, these huge... Oh, hey, they've got netherrack here. Might loot that later. Okay, so that's just a giant forge. This is an amazing... Oops, sword container. I need to, uh... Okay, um... Don't need the dirt. Okay, what else don't I need? I do not need... Uh, you know what? Actually, I'm going to get rid of the gray wool and the black wool. Just because it's not... Oh, hey, they have orange candles here. Um, this is actually really, really cool. Ooh, actually, I want to see what's over here. I feel like a little kid on Christmas, being excited about every little thing. But at the same time, I don't know what all these things are. Hello, what's this? Prickly pear. Huh, interesting. Oh, that's an interesting design. Oh, it's a giant church. Oh, I like this design. I might use it later. And what's this over here? This is a bunkhouse. Ooh. Okay, um, I don't need the moss carpet. Kind of want that. Bamboo leaves, you have use. Bamboo thatch. Uh, bamboo leaf hedge, don't need that. Don't need the bowls either, so. However, ooh. Light blue candles. This place is probably going to end up being a uh, hot spot for our looting. Okay, I really like this uh, design as well. Whoa. This is a very nice garden. Not going to lie. I kind of like this. Now, I haven't seen anything like this before. Again, probably going to steal it. Now, that's... I haven't really played a lot in the newer updates, so I don't get to see a lot of the uh, newer build styles. I have another bunkhouse. Ooh. Potatoes. Probably should check that uh, farm for carrots. Now, if I don't steal the design, I'm probably going to at least integrate something about it, because that's a really nice farm design. I like it a lot. Let's... Oops. Keep... Boop. And... Probably stealing this dude's life savings. Okay. Um, Keybinds. Sort... Okay, um, he's got core. Okay, what's up here? Got beds for days. I'm not gonna lie, I really like this village and how everything looks. Uh, bundle. Emerald sticks, spyglass. Ooh. Oh. Um. And the bundle's not very helpful if I'm uh, <clears throat> only able to put in magic silk, huh? Okay, um, don't need the wheat seeds. Kind of want the spyglass. <sighs> okay, now I gotta, okay, you know what, I don't need the sticks and I kind of want that. Okay. Since I don't have a backpack or anything else. But villages are a really good place to find odd things. Like a bundle. That's actually kind of cool that you can just right-click, throw it out. Um, what's in here? Uh, like spike! Okay. Um. Oh, okay. Oh, you don't have anything for me. 
And then another church. I like the design of these churches. Okay. Having a little bit of lag around here. Okay, so I think I've checked out all the buildings. That we're definitely we're definitely gonna have to use this. This at least looks really nice. Um, I don't, uh, yeah, we went down there, right? Let me actually go check and see, because I don't actually know if we went down that far. Because I don't remember seeing these. These look nice too. Oh, the uh, guys, you realize your well has some lava in it, right? I think it's supposed to look more like that. But I guess that's why they made a second one, right? Because, <clears throat> you know, they're villagers. Um, okay, how do I get in here? Oh, there you are. I definitely haven't been in here. Don't really need a gold nugget. Ooh. There's more stuff. This is... I know I keep saying this is really cool. But this is genuinely really cool. Now, I haven't seen a village design like this in a while. And I don't even know what mod this is, so I can't even, you know, say which mod is really cool. Pot. The pot just stole all my stuff. There we go. How do I make a pot? That's honestly kind of cool. Uh, something to do with ecologics. There it is. Oh, can I not? Apparently I can't make it. Um. Okay, I'm going to go up here really quickly. That's a nitwit. Uh, nothing in there. Did I already come up here? Maybe I did. Oh well. All right. Yeah. Kind of just wanted I didn't find a. Uh... A thing, but that that's okay. Uh, waste on is the word I was looking for. All right. Anyways. Um. Well, at least it's on the map. So yeah. But. I think we're going to have to pause again while I continue looking for a place to settle down. Because I don't want to set up right next to a village. And I don't want to set up in the desert again. I did that last time. It kind of came back to bite me just because uh, nothing really looked good. Because all of my, uh, all my grass was dead looking. It was just all that gross yellow color. I want to set up somewhere that's got nice, deep, green grass, and I apparently am just going deeper into the mesa. Hello, what are you? There's a thing over there. Now I'm curious. Oh, there's another village over there. So apparently, the mesa is where villages spawn. But, um... I don't know what this is. But it looks kind of cool. Um... Create waypoints. There we go. Yeah, cool archway. I'm just gonna leave that there. Yeah, like I said, I'm gonna I'm gonna go loot that village over there. And I think I'm going to pause until I find something else really, really neat. Or I happen to, uh, 
kind of dash the spot I want to settle down. Okay, so a little update that uh that village has a mine abandoned gosh dang abandoned mine shaft attached to it. So um this is definitely a good <coughs> a mine shaft. Yeah, this is just a good little uh thing to waypoint here. But other than that Nothing too interesting there. I don't even think I got any loot. Um, well, I got some more cactus. But other than that, the search continues. So, I did document the uh, the panda, and uh, I found camel. Very interesting. Um, I don't happen to have a saddle. And also at... This village right here, I ended up finding some iron, and then two iron pickaxes, and a thing of iron ore. But that's really all we got going for us right now. Alright, since we're documenting uh, just really neat things, I actually like how they kind of blend the different colors of water together. You know, it just comes right together. I mean, that th that needs some blending, you know, because it just goes straight from red sand to... Not red sand. But no, at least the water there can get it to be nice and pretty looking. Well, I, at least I found a uh, ruined nether portal. Uh, really quickly, let's see what's going on. Most of what I found over here has just been um, just oh. That's not worth it. Or a gold block. Ah, nothing in my inventory is worth trading out for a gold block. <clears throat> but anyways. Like, all of this just seems to be mesa down here. Just miles upon miles of mesa. Um, and I find these little uh, oasis. Like, I just went through this one right here. But other than that, I'm just finding tons of mesa. Which, I mean, is disappointing because I want to build an underground base. But I don't want to build in the desert. Because I, I started in the desert last time. And also, um, you know, if I want to put down some foliage and things like that, it's going to be all dried up and nasty looking. So I guess the hunt continues. All right, so I found a desert temple, but because my uh, my inventory is full, I'm not going to risk going down there right now, just because I'm probably not going to be able to bring stuff back up anyways. <clears throat> and I seem to have run into the edge of... this area. Oh, hey, another village. I guess we'll uh, see what's over there. Sorry, I am experimenting with new uh, keybinds because my mouse has the two little uh, side things. This looks like an archaeological site. That's honestly kind of cool. Um, I'm actually really liking these new village generations. But anyways, uh, that's what that little um, hiccup in the thing was. Is that was me just seeing if my new key bindings worked because I haven't had luck with these uh, key bindings before okay I honestly really like this I mean besides the fact like that is obviously very dangerous <coughs> but um I think this is just a really cool little fishing nook for them first bit of dripstone that's actually gonna be super helpful I found it right over there I really like this new terrain generation and, uh, oh, hello, there's more. There's a lot more. And yes, I do have a cyan bed I got from one of the villages, but I did leave my white bed in place of this cyan one. Because I'm not a monster. <clears throat> I just, you know, like the cyan bed over the white one. Alright, I think this is going to be it. This biome is decently big. And then I can just expand out into this way. 
you know, because for those of you that have seen my uh, stuff before on Minecraft, I like to sprawl. Look how much we've already mapped out. Just trying to find this. Alright, so. First things first. Um, actually, we need some wood. <clears throat> Alright, so. I'm going to grab some wood, and then I'm going to start getting down to the level in which I want to uh, actually start building. Okay, so. I have uh, got myself secured down here. And I think this is where we're going to actually set up our base. <clears throat> um, I don't have a plan yet as to how I want to make all this. But I'm thinking... that I want to just excavate a huge area and then make a, uh, a city. <clears throat> so I think that's kind of going to be the, uh, the goal here, is to excavate just a massive... area and make kind of my own ancient city, perhaps. <clears throat> um, let's see here. One, two, three, four, one, one, two, seven. That's one, two, Okay. And we are at negative 45, which means we've got, oh god, the lag. Alright. We have some wiggle room. Because I think it goes down to negative 64. And... Or, you know what? Actually, that's only 13 blocks up. All right, hold on. Just to let's see here. Oh, my God. The lag spike. No, actually, I think 13 blocks for now. will be enough. Okay. So I'm going to at least excavate out um, this first area and then I will be back. Okay, so I'm uh, currently working on digging out this area here and I ended up finding five diamonds. So, uh, you know, five diamonds, not a bad little find. And I feel like we're going to be doing fine on diamonds and other things inside this area. So right now, it is seven blocks each direction from the center. And what I'm doing is I'm <coughs> climbing up to here. This level here is 32. Which means I don't want to go above this because nothing that I want is above Y32. Or negative 32, sorry. So... That's uh, two, three, four, five, six, seven. All right, there we go. And I'm actually going to dig all of this out, all the way down to the bottom there. And I want to see if this is enough space for opening up my cavern, and I need to see if I need to drop it down. Um... But other than that, yeah, I just wanted to show uh, first diamonds. Oh, chromatic iron. Oh, my gosh. Okay, this is something else that I really, really needed. Um, so chromatic iron is something new that they added into this. Um, 
and it never touches air. So you will never find this um, while just going caving. You need to dig for it. The only time that you can find it while exploring caves is in an underwater cave because it's not touching an air block. But this will never, supposedly this will never spawn naturally touching an air block. And chromatic iron actually has a lot of uses. And thankfully, apparently it has, you know, super huge veins. Which, you know, I'm not going to complain about because this is awesome. And so the only other thing that we need to find down here would be vault stone. Because um, from what I've gathered from the update, you no longer need black stone in order to uh, make the portal. You need vault stone. Also, really quick, I just want to see what the new uses are. So, tinted glass. Really, tinted glass needs the raw chromatic iron. That is... That's cool. And then, uh, vault hunters. Ooh, the guide. So, we're going to have to make that. And then, uh, the iron ingots. Okay, so this actually has some pretty... Oh... Oh, that's interesting. Okay, how do I get driftwood? Okay, so I guess I'll just have to find it. Also, though, um... Where is it? Ooh, colossal chest wall. I don't know how to get driftwood. Maybe that's just inside the vault? But... Where's the thing that I need? Uh, it's probably going to be towards the front now that I'm thinking about it. Maybe you guys see it. There it is. The vaulter. So I can actually now make a vaulter. Um, and as soon as I get the uh, vault stone... I can actually make a vault rock because there's also no vault rock ore anymore. You need to find the vault stone. Um, this is a massive vein. I'm actually curious how much um, raw chromatic iron we're going to get out of this. This is amazing. Look at this. Just... So much. Okay. And like I said, this is half the reason that we, uh, we do this. All right, I'm going to finish excavating this, and then I'll show you guys the hall after. Okay, so, uh, yeah, that's... I'm actually curious. How far off from the... Uh... Wow, we were three blocks underneath. So we would have been two away from chromatic iron, and we never would have known. However, over two stacks of raw chromatic iron. That is amazing. Okay, so I'm actually really quickly going to just throw a stack in there and start smelting it down. See, again, this is why I wanted to build so far down. I mean, I know it's tedious to get upstairs right now. Okay, that's a uh, two. But yeah. Um, unless I find something else just absolutely amazing, I will cut when I have this whole thing dug out. So I've uh, gotten the base mostly taken care of now, and I'm actually really happy with this particular height. In certain areas, I might actually drop down the floor a little bit more, <coughs> but I'm not sure yet. Sorry about that. I'm... And if you guys are wondering, you know, well, what happened over here? Uh, this actually was a huge silverfish deposit. Um... 
And yeah, that was uh that was an event. But I really didn't feel like uh unpausing or yeah. Because let's be honest, I probably would have gotten edited out anyways. I wish there was a way to just stop Silverfish from uh griefing your world. And I find them absolutely infuriating. But you know, this um this isn't bad. For smelting purposes I have a crude little dripstone lava farm there. And uh just to get my own source of pickaxes right now, I figured might as well uh have a villager up. And I really don't know what I wanna like how I wanna expand completely yet anyways. Um I mean honestly the plan is just to expand with this big open cavern like thing and eventually I might um get ambitious and just start ripping out the ceiling too. Um, you know, after I get everything kind of taken care of, because this is only 14 blocks. Um, you know, <clears throat> having some dark ceilings, you know, maybe some uh, different different textures going on. I don't know yet. Um, but what I do know... is that with this city, I think it's going to look really, really good. Especially once I take some time and actually put it together. And I want to use Deep Slate as the floor. Um, I haven't really done a lot with Deep Slate. You know, I used, uh, what was it, like, Deep Slate Brick, I think. I thought it looked really good. Waste stone, warp stone, ooh. Extraordinary Larmor. That's actually a lot more reasonable. Okay. Um, but I also need to just expand right now and look for vault stone. Because that's the only way that we're going to actually be able to... Oops, that's deep slate. Don't want to... Accidentally break that one. All right, uh, let's just to make sure. Okay. <clears throat> but I think I just wanted to. Uh, I show you guys what we're working with here and I need to expand so I'm going to you know just spend some time I'm gonna keep digging and I'm also gonna think about you know what do I need to expand to initially and how do I want to expand it because figuring out how I want to expand is also gonna be Very important. Uh, okay, why does this look wrong? Is that just me being crazy or do these textures actually look different? Because that's Deep Slate. This is Deep Slate. Yeah, I, I think that that's just me being... Okay. Yep, anyways, I'm gonna, I'm gonna pause this for a little bit, and... I'm gonna figure out what I want to do. So, really quick uh, update here. I found out that ladders... Uh, hold on, let's pull out this moss block here. You can actually just have drop 
down. Now then, they're still usable as ladders on the side that they're meant to be. So, I mean, that's it's quite a thing, because I don't think there's any other, you know... way of getting up and down. I mean, I could try with flax. Have something, but until I actually get um, waystones unlocked, which... Uh, Q-O-L. Quality of life, I'm assuming. And then you get waystones. <clears throat> Sorry. Sorry for the uh, yawning here. Okay, so I need two things here because I mean I really want oh. I really want storage drawers and then But I also want waste stones, and I think waste stones is going to be the first thing that we uh, grab. So yeah. Um, besides that, I will get back to figuring out our little base. Okay. So I've gotten quite a bit of the rest of the wall that I want to push back chipped out. But sadly, I think I am out of recording time. I will uh, remove this. I mean, all this. Pickaxe after pickaxe after pickaxe. Most because I've been uh, using stone to try and level this guy up. Uh, this is probably taking about four hours just for this outer layer here. Which is, you know, only, what is this? I want to say one, two, three. This is only six blocks wide to make this from the central point 13 blocks in each direction. So, <clears throat> this isn't a bad start. I'm honestly really excited and happy. Sadly, I have yet to find any vault stone. Uh, I found like four diamonds right in here. Um, yeah. I really don't know how I want to uh, how I want to make everything look all nice and pretty, because from this level here, actually, where is my? Um, I know I have another. There we go. Lectern and my book and quill. Yeah, I have fifteen blocks from here down to the layer above where bedrock starts. Um, so once I start getting a little more expansive, get a, you know some better uh, tools and things, I can really start working on just chipping away at all these walls. Because I really like this level here. I need to eventually make some scaffolding, go up there and just replace that with some uh, just regular deep slate. Same with uh, there and those three blocks there. But you never know, eventually with this uh, huge underground city, I might make it multi-leveled so, you know, <clears throat> go down about like five blocks and then have like, you know, a little undercity. And I, I see this... Uh, going in great ways and I think once we unlock waystones I'm going to put a centralized waystone here since this is meant to be the center focal point yeah and uh, hold on uh, that'd be three five seven nine 11, 13, so if we just, all right, yeah, three, 
So I'm running off that alone. I think I'm going to make it this platform here. Just kind of mark this out. But, yeah, thank you all for watching. Don't forget to like, subscribe, comment, follow, all that fun stuff. I really do appreciate all the support that we've been getting on this channel and on Twitch. And I will see you all in the next episode. Goodbye.